Hello and welcome you all in the channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you uh, some ultimate Vim configurations. So if you are a Vim user and you want uh, some tweaks and some configurations to make your text editing more efficient and delightful, then I have something for you. And the best part is you need only two minutes to configure your Vim with the ultimate configurations possible. The configurations files are not mine. They are available over GitHub. I will show you the link. And this uh, person whose name, um, username is Amex has a very beautiful and awesome configurations for Vim. And uh, here we have it. The repository name is WimRC. And uh, the beautiful uh, and very detailed description of this repository is also available. Uh, for your reference, I will give you the URL in the description of this video. You can read the detailed description on your own. And this is the best possible Vim configuration I have ever seen. I will show you my Vim in a couple of minutes, in a couple of time. Uh, but I would like to show you how you can install it. Uh, there are basically two versions of this uh, Ultimate Vim RC. One is the basic version and second is the awesome version. However, basic version is uh, okay and uh, there are a lot of good features in that as well. But uh, installing the awesome version is uh, uh, recommended. And I would, uh, I would request you to, if you want to go uh, to install this VMRC, then I would request you to install the awesome version. And here are the two commands using which you can install this configuration file in your Linux systems with, within a minute. It will not take more than a minute to install this. So in first command, you are actually cloning the repository and you're putting it inside your home directory dot vim runtime. And you are just running um, the install script related to this. And after this, your vim will be configured. And I will show you my vim. Uh, let's go to a repo personal and then blog. Here is a directory. And uh, suppose I want to open a file in my Vim like Pelican Conf. And here is the configured Vim. And it's working like a charm. And uh, I've also implemented some of my custom configurations. So let me show you what are my custom configurations are. And uh, apart from the default that we get in this repository, and these are my custom uh, configurations. Here you can see it, right? So detailed explanation is not possible. It is actually the out of, out of the scope of this video. I just wanted to share it that there exists some ultimate configurations over GitHub so that you people can also get it if you want, right? And uh, this is the way editor. Now suppose I want to see how many files are there in this directory. I can toggle using comma double N. And here you can see on the right side, uh, a panel is, uh, appeared using which I can uh, go in the content directory and then I can go inside the image directory and uh, I can also go up a directory or I can also go up a directory. This is actually the plugin of Vim known as nerd tree and a couple of Vim plugins are already uh, um, uh, already equipped in this uh, VimRC file. So you don't need to explicitly add them. They are already there. Y yes, you just need to switch them on or off as per your requirement. Uh, let's toggle it off and now suppose you want to go inside any file in this directory and you just know the name of the directory so if you are a sublime user and if you have used sublime a couple of times then you must be aware that there is a shortcut in sublime text editor control P and using that you will be able to open a file uh, by just the name of it in the whim that thing is implemented in this configuration file using control F and here you go you can uh, type the name of the command, type the name of the file, or you can also type the partial name of the file. Suppose ultimate uh, and see the files are now filtered and I can choose which file I want to open. And the file you are opening will be opened in the next text edit in the next tab. And you can also switch between tabs like this tab one and then tab two and then tab one. And you can also uh, do a couple of things. Uh, absolutely detailed description is not possible in this video. I would request you to that if you want this um, ultimate win configuration, then you need to visit the website or the Git repository over there. And in my custom win configurations, I'm using here the Groovebox uh, theme that by default you don't get in the web uh, in the repository. You, you, you can extend 
the available WIMRC with your own configurations as well. So that's the whole point. And that's it. That's it from now on. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. And uh, thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. And uh, thank you so much. Have a nice day.